this problem is a very good problem actually instead of saying that it is as a problem we can say that it is a concept okay because we are going to learn how to draw a ts diagram from pv diagram for a polytropic process okay uh, this uh, problem will clear all your doubts regarding the conversion of pv diagram into ts diagram uh, so just try pass the video try to read the question and uh, try to do it okay then i will be continuing it Right, so two polytropic process undergone by a perfect gas. Okay, so perfect gas, they given that it is air. Okay, so nothing but an ideal gas. A perfect gas is type of an ideal gas or shown in the pressure volume coordinate. So this is pressure volume coordinates. Which representation shows correctly the above process on TS diagram? So which representation, uh, representation shows correctly this diagram in TS diagram? So they are just asking about this two in TS diagram and they given some options A, B, C, D. Okay, now, so we already discussed about this equation when I am discussing about polytropic heat transfer in our, uh, what is that, in our uh, third chapter, heat transfer, work transfer and first law of thermodynamics. Now, here, what I am going to do, okay, what I am going to do was, I am going to use this formula for uh, converting this PV diagram to TS diagram. It is very, very simple. Listen, first point, we will take this 1 to 2 process. Okay, let me write it here, 1 to 2 process, okay. See, if you take 1 to 2 process, as you could see that volume is increasing, pressure is decreasing. So, volume increases, pressure decreases, it is an expansion process, okay. Keep that in mind and, um, and uh, you can just keep that in mind. And now, come for the value of N, okay. N is 1.2, right. So, N value is 1.2. And we know that air, for air, gamma value is 1.4. So, what will happen to C poly now? What will be the value of C poly? See, significance of C poly, I already discussed uh, in our uh, entropy chapter, sorry, uh, in our heat transfer chapter itself, okay, um, the third chapter. So, C poly will be equal to N is 1.2, gamma is 1.4, N is 1.2, gamma is 1.4. So, automatic, automatically, this term will become negative, okay, 1.2 minus 1, positive, 1.2 minus 1.4 negative, so C poly will be negative, polytropic specific heat is negative. So what happens to Q poly, Q poly is what, M into C poly into delta T, okay, mass will remain constant and it is going to be positive, not at all a problem, C poly that is polytropic specific heat. Since N was 1.2, which is less than 1.4, C poly I'm getting negative. And what happens to change in temperature? So as it is an expansion process, so temperature will decrease, which means it is negative. So this is negative, this is negative. So Q poly will be positive. So heat transfer will be positive. Positive into negative into negative, it will be positive. So what will be our heat transfer ds? change in uh, or heat transfer or just, uh, sorry, what will be our entropy, entropy change, ds, that is going to be d dash q by t. If I want to find s2 minus s1, that will be integration, okay, integration of d dash q by t. So, we know that d dash q, that is q poly is positive, okay, and we know temperature will never become negative, so this is also positive, which means change, which means change in entropy is positive. So, change in entropy is positive, change in temperature is negative, which means temperature is decreasing, entropy is increasing. So, how will be my curve? Let me draw it here as I was shortage of uh, space, TS diagram. Entropy positive, entropy change is positive, so it increases, so it has to be from left to right. Temperature decreases from top to bottom. So, my curve will look something like this, okay, from 1 to Okay, temperature decreases, entropy increases. Now come for this case, 1 to 3 case. Okay, 1 to 3 case. As we know, n value is 1.5. Let me erase it. So in this case, 1 to 3, n is 1.5, gamma is 1.4. So C poly, what will happen to C poly? n is greater than gamma. So this will be positive. This is also positive. So total term will be positive, no issues. What will happen to Q poly? Polytropic specific heat, sorry, polytropic heat transfer, 
poly into delta t. We know that C poly is uh, positive in this case, okay. C poly is positive and M will be always positive. What about temperature? Change in the temperature. As you could see, volume is increasing, expansion process. So, here also the temperature is going to decrease, okay. And pressure, pressure decreases, volume increases. So, it's an expansion process where temperature will be decreasing. So, negative process, okay. That is delta T is negative. Now, Q poly becomes negative, which means Q poly negative, which means change in entropy is D dash Q by T. Q, heat transfer is negative, temperature is positive, which means change in entropy will be negative. Change in entropy negative in the sense, entropy decreases, temperature is also already decreasing, right? Because change in temperature is negative. So, temperature also decreasing, entropy also decreasing. How will be my curve? My curve will be something like this. Okay, this will be 1, 3. So, which option is matching? Our option was uh, B. Okay. So, 1 to 3 decreasing, 1 to 2 that. Okay. So, one conclusion I can make from this, a simple conclusion. Okay. Very, very simple conclusion. When you are concluding, when you are converting from PV diagram to TS diagram. Okay. When you are converting PV diagram to TS diagram, if N value lies between 1 and gamma, if n value lies between 1 and gamma, as you could see here 1.2, okay, this case, first case, n value lying between 1 and gamma, then whatever uh, the whatever the uh, geometry of PV diagram, same will be there in TS diagram, that is PV diagram and T, TS diagram will be identical. So, 1 to 2, okay, 1 to 2 in PV diagram is like this, 1 to 2 in TS diagram is also like this and this could be, you can use it as a shortcut. If n value is between 1 and gamma, if n value is between 1 and gamma, then PV diagram and TS diagram will be identical. It can be used as a shortcut. And how to draw that actual method as I explained to you by using C poly concept. Okay, C poly becomes negative, Q becomes positive, change in entropy becomes positive. And uh, C poly become positive, Q become, um, Q become negative because temperature is decreasing. So, entropy change will become negative. Okay.